Hello YouTube, Blue State Refugee here. Another installation of the Gun Plumber series. Just won a Glock 17 in a GSSF match. And uh, I'd like to encourage everyone to check out the GSSF website. See if there's a local match near you. Join if you're a Glock guy or girl. And uh, go out and have some fun. It's a kind of a hoot. But anyways, I won this gun in a random drawing, and uh, the only thing I really don't like about Glocks is their sights. They're horrendous. So I picked up a set of uh, night sights that are designed by a gentleman by the name of Rob Pincus. He owns the ICE Training Company, based out of Florida, I believe. He travels throughout the country. He's a pretty reputable, uh, well-known firearms guy. He, his system, he calls it the uh, combat focus shooting. And uh, if, if he's coming to an area near you, check him out. So, what I have is I have my sight pushing tool. I've already removed the front sight. And we're going to just slide the front, uh, the slide right under the device. And then we're going to turn the base here and it's going to draw everything down and make it all nice and tight. And then that allows us to to push the sight left or right. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to just drive it right out of its slot. Now these plastic sights have a middle, little metal insert. You can almost take these out with pliers. Well, you get to a certain point, and that's that's about that, and they fall right out. So we're going to unclamp the gun slide it out we'll just take and remove that throw that in the gun box with everything else every other sight that I've removed from a Glock so what these are these are made for Rob by the Ameriglo um, sight company and it's a, a nice bright yellow dot with a tritium insert inside and then on the back the, the sight is just plain black with a very wide uh, notch and he has a special cut he calls the claw and this is really really good for one-handed manipulations um, which is important to be able to do after I took a force on force uh, class a couple weeks ago and I was shot actually right here in the forearm with some simunitions then uh, that whole adage about uh, making sure you could fight with one hand came came home real fast to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the sight, uh, the Glock dovetail is kind of cut on a, uh, a small radius. You want to make sure that the sight will go at least halfway in. And it looks pretty good. If you have to take any material off, you never take material off the dovetail on the firearm, you're always going to just take a flat file and file down the back side of the sight. And basically, we're just going to just make a couple of strokes. And this is a uh, this is double cut smooth file. And we're just going to more or less just take that finish right off. Okay. You know, make sure we have the claw pointed in the right direction, which means it's to the back of the front sight, or the back of the yeah, back of the rear sight rather, and that looks good. So at this point, <coughs> we're going to have to bring the tool over. so that we can slip everything in together. And there it goes, everything's in nice. We'll go ahead and tighten that up. And then we're just gonna just use the mechanical advantage of that threads to then go ahead and push the sight in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this so it's reasonably centered by eye. 
and then we'll go to the range and we'll actually put this in at 25 yards put a target up and we'll uh, we'll test it and see if we have to move it because this is so portable um, it's really no brainer to bring this with you just throw it in your gun bag and that looks pretty good right there if I had to say <clears throat> that looks pretty centered I can always get my depth mics out and mic it from both sides and make sure I'm centered but I'm gonna leave it right there where it is and we're gonna put the front sight in now the front sight <coughs> has a little um, almost like a uh, a low socket, a low uh, um, hex head, and and I noticed on this one here, it fits up into my installation tool quite far, so I'm going to use the old one that I had laying around before I bought this new setup and I'm going to use that to start it with okay so I also have some thread locker now this is uh, not the green or the the red that we use for putting bearings on this is just regular simple thread locker and what we're going to do we're going to put a dab on a piece of cardboard or whatever here to the side and then we're just going to put a just a little drop on top of that screw you don't want to put too much on okay I'm going to take our front sight put that in stay on frame here for you. I'm just going to try to go ahead and get that started. And I'm working here on the stove because it's got the best lighting in the place. messing up on me. I got a little frog loop in there now. Alright, let me uh, let's start over again. And I'm going to take a piece of paper towel here. I'm going to wipe off that excess, that uh, frog lube in there. Perhaps that'll help us. There we go. That's good. And we'll try that again, shall we? And there we go. We'll come back with our other tool. And make sure it's tight. We'll shoot this a little bit and we'll come back and we'll double check it's tight. 
don't want this flying off at a bad time so there you have it sights are installed and we're ready for the range oops dropping stuff all over so if you've uh, enjoyed this video found it of comedic value <laughs> please like share and subscribe remember it's it's important to think free and act free to truly be free long live the republic